Hi everyone, today we're going to show you how to set up the Red Cat speaker system, otherwise known as a Soundfield FM. Begin by using the large charging cable and plugging it into the side of the speaker on its side panel. A blue light will come on indicating that the speaker is receiving power. If you do not see the blue light, there is a power button that you can press on the side panel. The teacher microphone and pass-around microphone are charged using a charging cradle and a separate charging cord. First, plug the charging cable into the cradle. Then, take the separate charging cord for the pass-around mic which looks like a USB on one end, and plug it into the cradle. This gets plugged into the bottom of the pass-around microphone. You should see a solid set of red lights showing up. Right here you see that they're blinking. This means that the battery needs to be replaced. The teacher microphone should be placed face forward in the cradle. You'll see two different lights show up one solid red light, which means that it's charging, and a flashing blue light. This blue light means that it's searching for a connection with the speaker. If there are no lights blinking on the teacher transmitter, press and hold the clear button until you see a flashing blue light. The light will flash blue until it makes a connection with the speaker. Once the connection is made, it will turn solid. This means that the microphone is ready to use. While using the teacher microphone, make sure it's within five to seven inches of your mouth. To mute, press the clear button. A solid red light means that the microphone is muted. To unmute, press the same button and check to see that the light turns blue. The same rules apply to the pass-around microphone. This isn't a good example. As I said earlier, the batteries in this microphone need to be replaced. If you see a continuous flashing red light, that means that the system needs to be repaired. When placing the speaker in the RedCat system, try to find a place in the classroom that is at your head height or higher. Usually the top of a filing cabinet works well. You can either have the system in the front of the classroom or in the back of the classroom. If you can't find a place that's high enough, setting it on a low bookshelf is fine. 